Hello and welcome to another episode in the GDScript Fundamental Tutorial Series. In this episode, we will be taking a look at classes as data types. So a data type is an attribute of data which tells the compiler or interpreter how the programmer intends to use the data. Now a typed variable is a variable with an explicitly assigned data type on declaration. When a type is specified, the variable is forced to always have that type. Now, how exactly can a class be considered a data type? Well, that's quite simple. In GDScript, along with other popular programming languages, classes are reference types. You can consider a reference type as an object being stored in memory. Objects are created in memory and then handled through a separate reference. So let's take a look at two examples. In our first example, we're declaring a variable with the node class. And in the second example, we're declaring a variable with the animal class. Now, you probably may have known this, but objects can be casted as a class within its inheritance chain. So let's take a look at an example. We have a node object, which is of the type node, but we can cast it as an object. This is because the node class in general is a subclass of the object class. You can also do the same thing with custom classes. Take our frog object as an example from our previous episode. We have a frog object of the type frog, but the frog class is a subclass of the animal class. So therefore, we can cast the frog object as an animal class. So take into consideration your inheritance chain. In this example, we have a frog, or rather the frog class, and it's a subclass of the animal class. And the animal class is a subclass of the node class. The node class is a subclass of the object class. So in this case, our frog class can be casted as an animal, a node, or even an object. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. As you can see here, we have the animal class, and we are inheriting from the node class. And of course, we've given it a class name called animal. Now we have a frog class, which we are inheriting the animal class. So the animal class is the super class and our frog class is the subclass. And of course, we've given it the class name frog. Now these are bare bones because I want to show you the power of casting classes. Let's forget about what our script inherits from, but it is inheriting from the node class. And we have three different objects. As you can see here, we have an object declared with the data type object, a node declared with the node class, and an animal with the animal class. Now our object, we're going to assign it the frog class. So we're creating an object with the frog. We're also doing the same thing for the node class and the animal class. So notice how our frog class can be casted as any other class within the hierarchy chain of inheritance. Now, let's say you forget to use the as keyword, the as keyword being the keyword you use to cast data types. Well, Godot under the hood for GDScript will go ahead and automatically cast it to the appropriate class. In this case, our frog class will be, will be casted to the object class. Casting scripts is pretty simple as long as you understand the inheritance chain. Well, that's all I have for you in this episode. I'm going to go ahead and upload this Godot project into GitHub, so feel free to download them. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel, and thank you to everyone who has clicked the like button to this video. I hope you learned a lot in this episode, and I look forward to seeing you in the next.